Hello everybody, welcome back to T-Roy Cooks. We appreciate you joining us once again. I'm doing something very special for you today. It's called a Chateau Brion. And it's a, it's a French term, but basically what it is, it's a beef tenderloin. And this Chateau Brion section, I mean, the, the beef tenderloin is pretty long. Chateau Brion comes from the center section of that beef tenderloin, so it's the best of the best. And not only that, today's meat was provided by Lobel's of New York. There we go. Let me show you what's in this box, show you how they ship it. It's going to be a great show, y'all. Stick around. All right, everybody. Lobel ships fresh. They never freeze their meat. Just cut for you so you can see what's inside. Got your nice little brochure. It shows you what to cook, how to cook it and everything. Send it in a cooler because, again, it's fresh. It's perishable. That's what you got right there. See, you got two ice packs in here to keep it cold. They ship overnight. And this is beef tenderloin. Lil Bill's USDA Prime Beef. So look at that. Look at that. Check it out, man. All right, folks, we are fixing to take this beef tenderloin, the Chateau Brion, and we are going to season it up a little bit before we throw it on the pan there. Y'all check that marbling out. Man, does it get any better than that? All right, got a little bit of olive oil here. Just put a little bit of olive oil on here. Cover it up nicely. Just like so. Don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. Okay. Now, we need a little bit of salt. I've got some truffle infused salt we're gonna throw in here. It's gonna be great. Kind of go liberally with it. And it enhances the flavor of your meat so much. There we go. Okay, now we need a little bit of pepper. Using some fresh cracked black pepper. Okay, now let's head to the stove. And I've got this over uh, really high heat here. I'm gonna throw in three knobs of butter here, about three, three teaspoons or so. It'll all melt it down real quick. We're gonna pan roast this Chateau Brion. There we go. I'm gonna brown it on all sides. I'll show you once this first side browns. We'll be right back. All right, we've been going about a minute and a half. I'm gonna flip it over to this side. And look, that is exactly what you're looking for. Look at all that nice, nice browning right there. We're gonna finish browning the rest of the sides. We're gonna tap the ends a little bit and brown them real quick. We'll meet you right back before we put it in the oven. All right, so I've got the all sides browned and I did tap the ends. I'm going in with some garlic, got two cloves, and this is about a half of a shallot. I'm kind of filling all this in real quick. Got some thyme, fresh thyme. We're just going to throw some sprigs of thyme in there real quick. A little bit of beef broth going in. All right, there we go. This is going straight in the oven. And I've got the oven at 375. All right, everybody, we're uh, about 25 minutes in. Let's see what we're reading now internally. Let's check it out here. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself here. Get down in the center here. Yeah, we're about 120. We're gonna go ahead and pull this. It's actually reading 122. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this and we're gonna take this out. Sit it on a heating pad. We're gonna let that meat rest. We'll be right back. We're gonna make us a nice mushroom sauce here to complement that uh, that garlic. Let's get these big chunks out of here now. I think that can stay in there pretty good. Anyway, we're gonna go in. I got three more little pats of butter here. We'll go in with some butter. Let's just melt up really good. And this is the same pan we use for the meat in the oven. Still the pan juices from it, and that's good stuff. You don't want to throw that away. 
But I've got this on a medium high heat. I'm gonna just melt this butter down real quick. And don't forget this is handled hot, being in the oven. All right. Once it all gets melted down real good, I'm gonna toss in some uh, baby baby bell of mushrooms right there. So these are good mix up. All right, this has been about four and a half for five minutes. I think these are just about tender enough for me. So check it out. Y'all saw. Got a little bit of chopped garlic and uh, some, what do you call it? This uh, shallot going in. Okay. You don't want to add the garlic, especially at the beginning when you start doing the mushrooms, because it will burn and get better. So again, just incorporate all this together. All mixed in, let this cook for another minute and a half, two minutes. And again, we'll be right back. All right, folks, it's been a couple more minutes. I've got some of this nice Cabernet Sauvignon 2012. This is from uh, Rutherford, Rutherford Ranch. And yeah, you know I got to, right? It's good enough to drink. It's good enough for your pot. Let's go ahead and go in with some of this. Doesn't need a lot. A little bit of do you. Third, we're going to reduce this down by about a third. That'll take a minute or so. All right, we've got this going here and it's reduced down. And all that alcohol is burned off of there. We're going to add a little bit more beef broth here. And again, let that reduce down by one third. All right, we've been going for a couple more minutes here. Actually, about three minutes. That's nice and reduced. We're going to put in some uh, heavy cream. Okay. And here at the very end, I'm going to also add back. I've got the two garlic cloves that were in the uh, in the oven. They roasted. We're going to add those back in. So, I'm going to let this warm through real quick. Probably take a, I don't know, a few minutes. We'll be right back. All right, this is thickening up pretty nice now. What you want to do is to give us a taste, which I've already done. And I can tell you it needs some pepper, but the salt is fine. So we're going to add some more fresh cracked black pepper. And here at the very end, we're going to add some more fresh thyme. Just put that on in there. Give her a good stir. Turn the heat off. All right, and this will thicken a little bit as it cools. In the meantime, it's been about 15 minutes, so we need to go get our uh, beef tenderloin, our Chateau Brion. And it's been sitting over there for a little bit. We're gonna go carve it. Slice it up, be right back. Okay, this is nice and rested, and let's carve it up a little bit. Let's see what we've got. Oh yeah, there you go. That is what we're looking for. Nice pink, nice medium to medium rare. And it slices like butter, I'm telling you. Oh my, me, oh my. Check that out. Look at that juiciness. That's juicy goodness. That's pure heaven right there. Okay, I'm gonna slice one more. Just because I think I need to. Oh man. Oh man, y'all yeah, check that out. Look at that juice. Gosh. Okay, I'm gonna plate this up. We'll be right back. Here at the very end, what you wanna do, you wanna throw a little bit more of this, this truffle salt on there. See, just a little bit. Bam, a little down, do you? Okay. A little bit of pepper. Yeah, that's what I call a Chateau Brion. All right, let's cut a little bit of this off here right, right quick here. Look how easy that slices. Oh man. Look at there. Look at there. So that marbling in there. That's where you get that butter flavor when you taste this. That looks like a good spot right there. Get a little bit of mushroom right there. Come on now. A little mushroom. A little bit of that sauce right there. There you go. Let's give this a taste real quick. What do you say? Mmm. 
That is fine. <laughs> that beef tenderloin just melts in your mouth. Oh, that is so good. Nice, beefy, buttery. Mm. And man, you throw that mushroom sauce on top of that, you talk about a fine meal. This is a classic Chateaubriand. You saw how easy it was to make. You go out and make it for yourself. Let me know what you think about it. Give me a thumbs up. Hope y'all share the video for me. And tell all your friends. T-Roy Cooks, responsibly.